Welcome to the Lose Weight, Live Life podcast. If you're someone who would do anything to lose weight, yet finds it impossible to stick to a diet, to eat less, or just what you think you should, this podcast is for you. I am your host, certified life and weight mindset coach, Claire McKenzie. Listen in to learn how to stop overeating, lose weight for the last time, and create a relationship with food and yourself that you love, all without diet deprivation and self-sabotage. Hi, everyone, and a very warm welcome to podcast episode number 130. Are you putting off your weight loss journey? Before I dive into today's episode, I want to let you know that we just had a free online public class called How to Create a Weight Loss Mindset. If you would like to register to get the replay to watch or to listen via the private podcast, do so right away as it will only be available until the end of the day on Monday, the 24th of July. You can register at www.thebestyou.coach forward slash reg01 and then we'll send you an email with all of the details for how to access the replays. And I also want to let you know that we're open for enrolment in the Lose Weight Live Life Academy this weekend until the end of the day on Monday the 24th of July. So if you would like to find out about the academy, um, go to www.thebestyou.coach forward slash enroll. Okay, so now let's talk about whether you may be putting off or delaying your weight loss journey, either knowingly or unknowingly, and why you may be doing so. If you are, then I'm going to be encouraging you to have a different approach and perspective. So first of all, what do I mean when I talk to you about putting off your weight loss journey? What may that be looking like? So it could be that you're consciously choosing to not focus on losing weight or managing your weight at the moment or right now, because you think that it will be easier to do so at a later date. And that later date could be next year, when you think things will settle down in your life. It could be in September, when the kids return to school or to uni. It could be next month, it could be next week, or you could even just be putting it off until tomorrow. Or you may be putting off your weight loss journey until a later date, without knowing when that later date actually is, because you're kind of waiting, you're thinking it's going to be when work gets easier, or when the parent you're caring for needs less support, or when you've dealt with your own illness maybe. So if you relate to any of these, you may be making a conscious choice to put off focusing on your weight, but you may also be subconsciously putting off weight loss. So you may be telling yourself that you're focusing on your weight and how you're eating, but you're not actually doing it. So what we're going to do today is challenge some of your default thinking about a weight loss journey and your subconscious thoughts about why it's better to wait or why there is a better time. So one of the problems with putting off weight loss, as I see it, is that putting it off by seeing it as a project or a phase in our life, we're immediately falling into diet mentality, even if we're not planning on losing weight by going on a diet. The difference between dieting and having a diet mentality is that when we're dieting, we're consciously choosing to follow a restrictive way of eating for a period of time whilst we're on the diet, with the assumption that when we've lost our weight, we'll change how we're eating to manage our weight going forward. And whilst if we're on a temporary diet, we'll be, we will be in diet mentality, we can also unknowingly be in diet mentality whilst we're thinking we're going to lose weight without dieting. And the reason it's hard to shift out of diet mentality thinking is because it's so normal. We've all grown up with it. It's a part of the fabric of our society. But when you think that tomorrow, next week, next month or next year is a better, in air quotes, time to lose weight than today, you're already stepping into diet mentality. The thing is, you have to eat today. And this is one of the biggest challenges, of course, with overeating compared to other behaviours that we may want to change is that we can't not eat you will have to be conscious or maybe more likely unconsciously thinking about eating and foods multiple times today. And you can let those thoughts happen subconsciously on autopilot like they have thousands of times before. And this is you putting off your weight loss journey. Or you can pay attention to them and start to practice thinking like the person who has the relationship with food and weight that you want. And if you want to change your relationship with food, you have to create this period of time where you're consciously thinking about it. When we want to lose weight, but we're putting off focusing on it, we're not being kind to ourselves, we're not prioritising ourselves, we're denying ourselves our true desires and sending an unconscious message that we don't matter. Of course, we're probably not thinking about it that way. 
we're probably thinking we're being kind to ourselves by not taking on more when we're so busy. Or we're thinking that we don't have a choice because there's just too much that we've got to do for work or others in our family. But when you're not practising eating the way that you want and having the relationship with food that you want and prioritising yourself, you're practising eating in a way that leads you to gain weight, be unhealthy or put yourself at the bottom of the priority list. And the more you practice doing that, the better you will get at doing it, the better you will be getting at being unhealthy, putting yourself at the bottom of the priority list and gaining weight. The more it will become your default way of being, the easier it will be to stay doing it instead of changing. The thing is, you are on this journey called life. Imagine you're on a train journey that is the journey of your life. You don't really know how long the journey is or where the destination is, but the train never stops. There are no stops on this journey where you can get off But there are windows with blinds and on this train there are lots of carriages that are very different. The problem is it's not obvious how you can open the blinds to see out of the window. You maybe don't see the small button because it's just out of your line of sight that opens the blinds. And whilst you can move freely through the carriages, you don't know that they're all different. Now, when the blinds are closed, of course, you can't appreciate the views. You may be on the most beautiful coastal route next to the Pacific in America or passing through the Scottish Highlands, but you don't get to appreciate any of it because you can't see the scenery. But not only can't you see it, you don't even know that it's there. And the train carriage you're in, well, it's pretty grotty. It's one of those trains with seats facing each other with no tables between them that are cramped. And you don't know that the carriage next to yours is a bit like being on the Orient Express with waiter service. You're putting off weight loss, you putting off weight loss for hours, days, weeks, months or years is you staying in that most basic of carriages with the blind down. You're safe, but you're not experiencing everything you could be experiencing on your life journey. You're sitting there, maybe sometimes wishing you were on a better train with blinds that opened so that you could see the view, but you don't look behind you and see the button that can pop those blinds up for you. Every day, you're not paying attention to the foods you choose and the things you're doing to notice whether they're aligned with you being the weight you want to be and having the relationship with food that you want. You're staying in that windowless basic carriage and not making the most of your journey called life. Your primal brain, of course, disagrees. Your primal brain thinks that you not focusing on losing weight is easier, better, more pleasurable, maybe safer even, but it's wrong. The part of you that thinks you're being kind to yourself by not taking on too much is wrong because you only have one life. Every day counts. Don't waste your days waiting to lose weight, waiting to get fitter, waiting to get healthier. Don't wait for anything that's important to you. So let me get off my drum beating for a moment and talk to you about some practical mindset shifts you can make around the reasons why you may be putting off your weight loss journey. First, though, I want you to take a moment and ask yourself honestly when and why you're putting off weight loss. Is it for your summer holiday? Is it because the kids are off school or the kids are back from uni or the grown up kids are visiting with the grandkids? Is it because you're dealing with your own health challenge or a life challenge involving someone else or because you just keep telling yourself you haven't got time? I want to take the first of these, your summer holiday, and use it as an example of how we can get caught up in default, habitual, very normal and socially conditioned thinking. So it may be that you are conditioned to believing thoughts like, I just don't want to have to think about what I eat on holiday, or it's an all inclusive and I want to get my money's worth, or thinking, but I want to enjoy eating the local delicacies, You might be thinking, I should be able to drink and eat ice cream. I'm on holiday. You might be thinking, I eat all the foods that I want now because after my holiday, I'm really going to cut back. Or you may be thinking, if I don't join in with all the eating or drinking, I'll feel like a party pooper. Or you might be thinking the food is one of the things I enjoy the most about being on holiday. Or you might just be thinking, I don't want to feel deprived or miss out. And I could share probably hundreds more thoughts like these. But I'm just going to take a couple of them and explore them a little and experiment with reframing them a little with you. So let's think about the bigger picture first, though, of who you are being in your relationship with food 
when you're having thoughts like these. And I just want to say, you might be aware of these thoughts, but you might not be aware of these thoughts because they are so normal to you. They might feel like truths to you. So first of all, you have to become aware of what you're thinking. And when you do, I want you to consider, is it possible you're thinking like someone who has a problem with overeating and managing their weight? Okay, Are you thinking like the person who finds it difficult not to overeat and to manage their weight? Remember, you're not looking for a temporary diet type solution here. You're wanting to lose weight in a way that you can manage it for life. That means you becoming a person who thinks differently about food, not just when life is running along easily. And let's be honest, how often does that happen for an extended period of time? So but you are thinking differently about food on holiday as well and during the difficult times too. So when you think, I just don't want to have to think about what I eat on holiday, ask yourself why? What does that even mean? It probably means I don't want to have to go into battle and have that continual chatter with myself about what I should or shouldn't eat, in air quotes. Of course, anytime we're telling ourselves what we should or shouldn't do, we're going to find ourselves in conflict. So if you don't want to be in that position, then don't put yourself in that position. That battle isn't required. And how to avoid that battle is something that you learn in the academy. But for now, just know that you can decide in two minutes how you want to eat on holiday and then eat that way. It doesn't have to be a choice between an unconscious free-for-all and a continual battle with yourself. You can choose, you can decide, okay, I'm going to eat three meals a day and I'm not going to have snacks, but every other day I'm going to have dessert with my dinner and maybe I'm not going to have refined carbs for breakfast or lunch. Decision made. Consciously eating. Decision made once. But getting to a stage where you can do this without the mind drama and negative emotions that feel like deprivation and and self-pity is a skill that maybe is going to take a little bit of time to learn. And you learn that skill by practicing it. So why not start practicing on your next holiday? The sooner you start becoming the person who has the relationship with food that you want on holiday, the easier it will be to enjoy delicious food without gaining weight on holiday. But you're not going to get there if every time you go on holiday, you're thinking the thought, I just don't want to have to think about what I eat on holiday. Okay, let's just pick another thought then. So what if you are thinking, the food is one of the things I enjoy most about being on holiday? Well, challenge yourself. Once you're aware of that thought, challenge it. What would it look like to enjoy the food I eat on holiday without gaining weight? Challenge yourself in a different way. Do I want to be the person who enjoys food on holiday more than she enjoys time with her friends or family or soaking up the culture or exploring or taking part in new adventures? What would it be like to enjoy the non-food side of my holiday more? To appreciate the time with others, experiences with others, etc, etc. At the end of the day, even though we tell ourselves otherwise, most food is available to us in most places at most times. We don't only get to eat delicious food on holiday, but the time we spend with others, ourselves and our non-food holiday experiences are, I believe, arguably more precious and arguably more difficult to get hold of at other times in our life. And whilst we're talking about holidays, not only is your holiday the perfect time to practice being the person who has the relationship with food that you want on holiday, but it's also possible depending on what type of holiday you're going on, that you will have more time to focus on you, to think about what you want from your relationship with food, your relationship with yourself and your life, to eat delicious salads that you've not had to chop up for yourself, that you have more time to take beach or mountain walks, that you have time to build a better relationship with your body and put body lotion on it every day and practice appreciating it for all that it does for you. Now, there's so much more here that I could talk to you about. I'm just going to leave it there for now. I urge anyone listening who is not actively on their weight loss journey today to take a moment and ask yourself with compassion and from a place of curiosity, what are you waiting for? Answer that question and then challenge your answers from a place of self-love and consider what if I chose not to wait? What if I was willing to take a very small step forward towards having the relationship with food that I want today? What if I just opened the blind on that train and had a very small peek out the window. Remember, you're not taking the decision to diet or to not diet. You're just taking the decision to pay attention and do something, no matter how small, that your future self will thank you for. Okay, well, thank you for listening. Take care. 
Um, before I go, I just want to remind you, if you want to catch the How to Create a Weight Loss Mindset class replay, go to www.thebestyou.coach forward slash reg01. And if you want to find more about the Lose Weight Live Life Academy, go to www.thebestyou.coach forward slash enroll. And I look forward to seeing you next week. If you enjoyed listening to this podcast and are ready to live a more intentional life, lose weight as a part of that journey and create a relationship with food and yourself that you love, then I would be honored to have you join the Lose Weight Live Life Academy membership and coach with me. The program offers different levels of support to suit you, including self-paced learning, twice weekly calls, private coaching, an amazingly caring community, and lots more. Find out all the details about when and how you can join at www.thebestyou.coach forward slash coaching.